Good afternoon. My name is Kelly Lam. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Mila. Welcome, bienvenue, and willkommen. Many of you are home, safe with your families, and we hope you all are in these very unique times that we all face. Nonetheless, you, our customers, have actually been reaching out to us, trying to find out information about products you may have, services that we're offering, or many of you are actually right now interested in buying some of our products, but have some questions before you do. And so with this, we're really excited to introduce you to Mila Live, an all new service we've introduced here at Mila Canada. It happens several times a week. Each day there are different sessions, and we're gonna to cover topics from dishwashers, to laundry, to our vacuum products, cooking, and in addition to that, many more other topics. Pour vous, pour vous qui demandent pour des sessions en français, on est en train de travailler pour avoir des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. With Mila Live, it's completely interactive. We're live, we're actually here at our Mila Experience Center in Toronto. As all of you know, our experience centers are temporarily closed, but this is your opportunity to interact with us. You can ask questions real time. We're gonna to try to answer as many of those as possible. Many of you have already submitted questions and we will be sure to try to answer as many as we can. For those that we actually can't answer on camera right now, we have a team of product experts behind the scenes that will either answer you via the comment section. So if you're on Mila Live watching us right now, be sure to submit your questions uh, via the comment section. Or if your question is very, very specific, um, we will submit uh, a response to you via email. One of the products that Mila has been very much known for is our dishwasher. So I'm really excited today uh, to be with uh, my colleague and product expert, Mike. Uh, Mike, welcome. Thank you, Kelly. And uh, Mike's gonna actually take us through today a session on dishwashers. So I'll hand it over, Mike, as Thank we you, keep Kelly. our social distance. Of course. Hello, everyone. I share Kelly's excitement for our category that we know as dishwashers here at Mila Canada. This is a especially important category for us. And it comes from a long and storied history uh, in this particular segment. Mila has actually been building dishwashers. Kelly, pop quiz. When yeah. was Mila's first dishwasher? Thanks for putting me on the spot. 1927? Not bad, not bad, folks. Kelly is off by two years. Our <laughs> first dishwasher was 1929. It was actually Europe's... I Europe was testing you. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Right, thank you. <laughs> Touche. So in 1929, Mila developed Europe's first uh, electric dishwasher. Now, this was a big move for us. Uh, but also, unfortunately, 1929 saw a big thing called the stock market crash, and therefore, that may have derailed our plans and probably not the best year to come up with such a ground baking uh, product. Nonetheless, we persevered, and uh, by the 60s, we were um, fully fledged and building, I think, Europe's best dishwashers with our first built-in dishwashers for use in the kitchen uh, and integrated into cabinetry. Into the 70s, we continued to layer innovation after innovation, eventually microprocessors into our dishwashers, and innovations such as automatic programs and sensor buttons in our dishwashers. Into the 80s, we moved and innovated uh, extensively as well. I think uh, our best feature, perhaps, to come out of the 80s was the Mila cutlery tray. Now, this uh, is a staple in a Mila dishwasher. Uh, you're not forced to have it, but we certainly encourage its use. Uh, and you'll see what that looks like when I start um, diving into this current generation of G6000 Ecoflex. In the 2000s, we moved towards more and more efficiency in our dishwashers, uh, and we kept kind of refining and innovating at the same time. Of course, uh, at Mila, we're super um, obsessed with innovation. Our founding principle is basically a commitment to continuous improvement. And so this comes through innovation, but it also comes with a firm commitment to quality. Each of our dishwashers is built with a 20-year lifespan built in mind. Now, for the average household, uh, that means fairly regular use, and uh, we welcome that kind of use in the household. Now, as Kelly mentioned, 
Mila and dishwashers are synonymous. They um, are a staple in the North American marketplace and are well known for their quality, their design, their innovation, their silence. Uh, we often ask consumers, what's the key, key feature? The Canadian consumer will oftentimes say that the most important thing to me in a dishwasher is that it is quiet. And I can assure you that each of our dishwashers on display here today is just that, silent in its operation. Now, now that I've set the table as far as our history and quality commitment to dishwashers, I think it's important to say a quick um, note about how your dishwasher is going to look in your kitchen. Um, Mila dishwashers come, as you see here on display with these four units, um, with a full stainless panel and a control panel front facing. So this is a very common and I'd say perhaps even our best selling um, units are front facing, fully finished in stainless steel. Now this is a proprietary clean touch steel which is resistant to fingerprints and smudging. Um, but this is not all we have on offer. We also have, if you'll notice on the back bank of dishwashers, you'll notice some cabinetry. And in behind that lovely cabinetry with handles are dishwashers that are essentially integrated into millwork. Now this is also a very popular uh, configuration for Mila dishwashers. It's what we would call fully integrated. Of course the panel on the front of it can be a Mila accessory panel that's in stainless with a matching handle for any one of our cooking products for example. Or you can have it so that maybe handleless design is uh, at the front of kind of your design aesthetics or um, other hardware in your kitchen. So one thing I can say as Mike is continuing to kind of go through the design is um, Mila.c is available to you 24-7. Uh, we have a virtual advisor on there that will actually help answer exactly what Mike is describing to you step by step, which will guide you to the best choice for you. So, because uh, I know there's a lot of material that Mike's covering um, that, you know, we'll need time to retain that. But again, go to Mila.ca uh, as well and we have uh, applications there to, to help guide you through your choice. Additionally, uh, to the back office people that are here to support us today. We hope that you can also ask questions on the chat so that we can interact with you live in real time. So we've mentioned our pre-finished uh, dishwashers that come in stainless. They also come in black or white in some configurations. We talked about our fully integrated design as well. But keep in mind, we also have a third option when it comes to integrating into your kitchen. And that is essentially when we're able to have a stainless control panel with your own custom panel about 75% of the way down. So you can integrate it somewhat, but also have front facing controls, which could be handy if you want to reference, for example, which cycle you're on or how much time is left in your particular program. So three different design options to kind of meet everyone's need um, from a design perspective. Okay, so we've covered design. I want to talk to you about what you get in a Mila dishwasher. Well, how about we start off with some fundamentals that you find in each of our dishwashers, be it our entry or entry tier dishwasher, the classic, which is perhaps our best selling unit, all the way up to our diamond halo product, um, retailing for just under 4,000. Well, let's open it up. Without further ado, you'll see the interior of a dishwasher that has got Mila on the front of it. It's certainly fully constructed in stainless. There is no plastic tub in this dishwasher. The other thing you'll notice is there is no heating element down below. Mila is super concerned with efficiency. And so the drying principles at work in a Mila dishwasher are largely passive. There are some additional measures that we've taken, but with stainless steel construction, we're able to dry your dishes without um, having to essentially treat your dishwasher like an oven with a heating element. What does this mean for you? Well, from a practical perspective, you're going to pay less hydro to run your dishwasher. Secondly, you can basically wash your plastics on any level without having to worry about melting Tupperware containers, for example, down below. What other common elements do we have in our dishwasher? Well, if it's a Mila dishwasher, it has three full-size spray arms. Unless, of course, you're at our 18-inch segment, which 
we won't talk about, but it's on option. Uh, three full-size spray arms mean that every single level of this dishwasher has a strong current of water that is essentially actioning uh, soiled uh, dishes, crockery, cutlery. What are other key components in a Mila dishwasher? You'll notice that our baskets are all generally in white. It's a steel basket design with a nylon uh, graphite coating and it's exceptionally um, resistant to wear over time. Again, all the components in a Mila dishwasher are looking towards that 20 year lifespan. So as it looks here today, it should look like this in 20 years. The middle basket in a Mila dishwasher is always adjustable. Um, that is a non-negotiable for us. It is adjustable on both sides, so you can just raise a side, for example, to make more room in the bottom basket for perhaps a cookie sheet or cutting board. And you can engage the middle basket, like you see it here, uh, even if it's slightly tilted. This actually helps in the drying process when you can sheet more water off of cups or saucers that are overturned. Okay, I talked about stainless interiors, spray arms. How about sound emissions? We just mentioned that this is a really important characteristic in a Mila dishwasher. Well, some of the steps that we've taken to ensure its quietness is a fully insulated cabinet. Now, Mila dishwashers, as you go through the range, get almost imperceptibly quieter or more silent. We take special measures in all of our dishwashers to insulate against sound leaving the dishwasher. We know it's important to have your dishwasher run in sync with your family. And the last thing we want is a Mila dishwasher to interrupt the conversation around the dinner table, for example. So Mike, you, you mentioned earlier that when we talk to our customers, sound seems to be of utter importance. And you know, if our, our viewers are out there looking for different dishwashers, they're seeing all these so-called decibel ratings out there. Um, that seem to vary quite a bit. Um, but I think when we do our test at Mila and we look at uh, the actual sound emission side of things, we do a test in, I would say, a realistic setting in the sense of, you know, it's a full load of dishes, they're dirty dishes, which obviously impacts sound versus potentially some of the other ratings that are out there are not tested in the same way as, as we do our tests. Yeah, 100%, Kelly, when it comes to sound emissions, uh, you're often labeled with a decibel rating. Now, this decibel rating, unfortunately, is not um, uh, written in stone. It really depends on the testing metrics or variables uh, done at measurement. So I can assure you that when we state that a dishwasher in our range runs from about 46 decibels all the way down into the 30s with our top tier dishwashers, when I state that decibel rating, I can assure you that, like Kelly mentioned, our testing methodology means that the dishwasher needs to be running with a full load and soiled dishes. A dishwasher that is running with soiled dishes is sensing for turbidity and monitoring soiling in your dishwashers and will wash more actively, therefore potentially uh, emitting more sound with a dirty load. And so we've noticed with some competitors, for example, their met methodology is completely different. So 42 decibels does not always equal 42 decibels between different manufacturers. So th thank you there, Olivia, for that question about how loud a dishwasher is. Uh, you know, uh, my colleague Mike has, has hopefully provided that answer to you that it's not necessarily in regards to decibel rating only, it's how the testing is actually done. But uh, thank you for that question. So just getting back to what you get in a common uh, dishwasher from Mila, we've mentioned our stainless steel interior, our three full-size spray arms. I would say the next best thing in a Mila dishwasher, and probably my favorite, like I mentioned earlier, is the cutlery tray. Now, it doesn't come on all our dishwashers, but I'd say it comes on nine out of 10 dishwashers we sell almost. And uh, if you'll remember, I mentioned that this was a Mila innovation back in 1987 where we actually trademarked the cutlery tray. Now, the tray itself is really ingenious way of washing your cutlery. Um, it allows us to basically free up a lot more room in the bottom basket, making every single one of our dishwashers a 16 place setting dishwasher. So yeah, you heard me right. It's 16 place settings. You can really um, 
fit a large amount of cutlery and maybe crockery in a dishwasher. Kelly, why don't you open up this dishwasher here on the end? So there you have it. I did not lie. This is a 16 place setting dishwasher and hopefully you're not running a load this size every day but you could if you wanted to. The cutlery tray means that there's no basket down below and you basically achieved a really good way of cleaning your cutlery. In fact, um, so good that you'll never really miss that basket. Now, cutlery tray is great on its own but really what makes the Mila cutlery tray very special is the fact that there's a full-size spray arm attached to the ceiling of this dishwasher which is actioning this cutlery in a way that you cannot achieve with a small propeller of water or perhaps um, water from the middle spray arm. It's a system. So the cutlery tray that we see here is gonna, even though they're packed in tight, they're not touching each other and you're gonna get a tremendous amount of washability. Putting cutlery away from a cutlery tray, this is my specialty at home, is never been easier. You can hygienically grab by handles and put in already kind of pre-sorted into your cutlery drawer and makes unloading a dishwasher that much easier. Now compare that with having to empty a basket with mixed cutlery, knives pointing upwards, perhaps forks, and having to gra grab them by the business end. Cutlery, is, cutlery tray is, I would say, an elegant solution to a common problem, but certainly in a Mila dishwasher with that third spray arm, really an amazing kind of solution. Okay, so <clears throat> we've talked about cutlery trays, common elements. As you move through our range, obviously I mentioned dishwashers get slightly quieter. We like to say that in increments of roughly two decibels and the human ear can really not discern that between our level of dishwasher. Maybe if you heard our classic dishwasher next to a diamond, perhaps you would hear a small difference in sound emissions but almost negligible. As you move up through our range, you pick up some really cool features. You saw our basic cutlery tray here in the classic. We have a 3D cutlery tray, which is the next itineration, essentially, of the cutlery tray. So this allows for manipulation of this middle portion of the cutlery tray so that you could slide over and make room in the middle basket for a taller stemware. Other features you pick up as you move through our system of dishwashers. I like to say that the baskets in our dishwashers get slightly more flexible. What do I mean by that? I mean that you're able to position stemware, for example, um, a, little uh, a little more um, niftily, if you will, by nestling stems. For example, like we see here with these large burgundy glasses, where you can essentially nestle the stemware and secure them in place so that when you open and close this dishwasher, you'll have no problem with your glassware smacking into each other. Mike, uh, speaking of glassware specifically, so uh, Mila has a long-standing worldwide partnership with Riedel Glassware. Um, and I think a lot of that development done in the dishwashers has been in conjunction with our partners at Riedel. Uh, because as you know, typically crystal china is really not recommended to do in a dishwasher. Um, and Riedel has obviously taken a different stance on that after working with us now, um, which we have that partnership. Yeah, we're really proud of that partnership. Uh, Riedel is the preeminent maker of glassware um, and stemware. So we're really proud of that and to be um, bestowed upon with that honor of being the exclusive provider basically of dishwashing for uh, that brand is, is spectacular and it really is a vote of confidence. Um, there is, I don't think, another dishwasher that takes the care for washing stemware quite the way that Mila does. Uh, these silicone nests, if you will, do a great job of securing stemware. The fact that it's on an angle, uh, not people, people would probably not notice, but um, if you had this glass uh, fully flat, you notice that the stem would basically pool with water at the end, especially in the drying. And by tilting it, even at a slight angle, that will promote sheeting and drying and not have that uh, residue on the stem of your glasses. Um, so yeah, super important. One of the innovations we came up with um, 
in the uh, 2000s was perfect glass care. And this is a commitment to treating water before it enters the dishwasher. So in any of our dishwashers, crystal and above, you're able to basically condition the water pre-entering the dishwasher through a water softener. So this basically means that the water that's running through your dishwasher will not leave deposits, minerals, etching, and leave your glassware completely sparkling. Mike, one other question we had from one of the viewers, uh, Olivia out there was, um, I do get some spots once in a while. Is there something I can do to help remove those spots? Yeah, so um, as with anything, spots uh, are indicative of uh, problems with your water source. So number one, uh, what is your local water municipality saying as far as water softness? Uh, if you're... Um, up against one of the Great Lakes, as we are here in Toronto, you'll notice that the local water is usually around seven grains and, and fine for a dishwasher without salt. However, if you find yourself drawing water from a well or perhaps uh, drawing water that's known to be more hard and you're not using a whole home water softener, you will end up with deposits on your glassware. So something to watch out for. The other thing that's super important is the kind of detergent you're using in the dishwasher. Now, obviously with Mila, we develop product, but we also develop care collection consumables that go hand in hand with our hardware. So this software has basically been developed to work hand in hand from a chemistry perspective and de deliver amazing results. Um, our ultra tab solution to dish tabs um, basically take into account even some um, elementary water softening with salt uh, embedded in the tabs. So important is water. Important is also um, the detergent that you're using. So I would switch between and check to see how, how hard your water is and perhaps add salt if your dishwasher uh, has the capacity to do so. Let's have a look at the other model here before we move back, Mike. So um, if we open that model there, one thing I noticed as we were going through the models is you're seeing more and more of, let's say, these yellow tabs. Um, what is that telling consumers about uh, the dishwasher with these tabs? Yeah. Um, anywhere that you see in a Miele dishwasher that has tabs, now this one's fully loaded and we're not going to really manipulate these tabs too much here, but basically you're able to lever into place, for example, stemware supports or uh, cup shelves in the middle basket or you can drop down tines so that you can wash, for example, different items or prop them into place. So basically anything that you see that's orange, for example, the handles in the back, are inviting action. So uh, at any point in time, you can manipulate those to basically meet your needs for that given wash. And obviously you can return them to their original position. Uh, down below, you'll see some of those stemwares here because we're not washing wine glasses in this particular load. We've moved them completely out of place. Um, and they're nestled up top and out of position, uh, but that allows for these 16 full-size plates. One of the cool features I like to talk about, as soon as we enter into our crystal and above dishwasher, is auto open drying. Um, one of my favorite features. So because we don't have that heating element below, we do take um, measures to dry your dishes at the end of a wash. Mm -hmm. um, we cool the dishwasher with the fan in the plinth that basically promotes condensation of uh, warm, damp air inside the dishwasher. But addition, in addition to this, we have uh, auto open drying. And that basically means at the end of a cycle, the dishwasher will essentially prop itself open uh, and, and basically allow for uh, dry ambient air to enter the dishwasher cavity and the, uh, promote additional drying results. So those plastics that are tough to dry, uh, those overturned saucers, perhaps with some pooling, you'll find that with an auto open drying feature, you'll be able to take drying to the next level without actually impacting your energy bill whatsoever. Fantastic, super convenient as well, because uh, you can actually do your dishes overnight really then and with the auto dry function, it automatically opens, you don't need to worry about it and, and be there about it. Um, time's running very quickly in this session. Um, I know there's some other additional models that we want to go back and have a look at. Before we do that, 
Um, there are just maybe two questions we can try to get answered uh, on in, uh, that we have from viewers right now. So Risa out there is asking us, should the dishwasher be cleaned out um, with vinegar and how often? Or what, how else would we clean out the dishwasher? So vinegar is a recommended cleaner. Uh, it's an organic material, obviously, but it's also a really nice acid that's gentle enough to be run in a dishwasher. Obviously, you wouldn't wash your plates or cutlery at the same time. But uh, in intervals of eight to 10 months, it's not a bad idea to do that. Uh, we also offer on the consumable side a dishwasher conditioning agent. Comes in a small jar. You can place it on the middle basket run that and that does essentially clean out the interior of the spray arms and the pump mechanisms as well but vinegar is a good solution in the meantime um and, and that, for the mila mila dish conditioning or cleaner how often mike uh would customers actually need to run that or is it really a little dependent on their it, usage yeah it really is uh, mileage may vary by by user uh, I, perhaps, at my house, like to run it every 12 months or so, um, but also uh, it, it really comes down to the rate of frequency. If you're running your dishwasher two times a day, perhaps invest on a little bit uh, of the maintenance portion of it. Okay. Um, another question coming in is from our viewer Grace out there. Um, is there some kind of filter that needs to be cleaned or replaced in our dishwashers? Yeah, great question, Grace. Uh, yeah, we actually would recommend from uh, time to time, and uh, again, frequency may vary on your particular mileage, but we would uh, regularly ask that, at my house, we're doing it about every six months or so, in the bottom of a Mila dishwasher, you'll notice that there's always a triple filter down below, and it's quite easy to get at, and it's user serviceable, does not require anybody with any expertise or tools, and you can easily get at that grace by just lifting the bottom spray arm out and then unlocking the filter by pushing it back. You'll notice there's two arrows that need to be disengaged from each other. And then you would pop out the triple filter. And this is um, a great way of Mila obviously filtering the water system as it goes through and circulates and then pumps out um, the um, collection of solids in this filter system. Now this basket over time will become uh, obviously dirty and soiled and so we would recommend washing this with warm soapy water from time to time making sure it's fully rinsed before placing back in position and you can open this portion up as well to free out pistachio shells, uh, lettuce, toothpicks, olive pits. You'd be amazed at what ends up in this filter, it's very um, sexy stuff. Anyway, we'll place this back into position, position quite easily. Match up the arrows, lock it into place, and replace the sprayer. So Grace, I hope we've uh, answered the question that you've had in regards to the filter. Um, with a couple minutes left, I think there's a couple more topics, a couple more questions. So let's head back, Mike, to the back row, um, and uh, let's uh, cover let's off that. those. So Kelly, uh, we talked about integrated dishwashers and again, just to touch on that, it is a popular configuration for us. You'll notice an integrated dishwasher here. All of these in fact are dishwashers, um, but there's no control. So how would we operate that? Obviously it's a little incognito here, but if we prop this dishwasher open, you'll see the controls have moved to the top surface. And they're as fully featured as our front facing controls. Uh, the, pr the difference is that the display is obviously uh, hidden. Uh, you can turn on your dishwasher, select your wash program, select your wash options, close the dishwasher door, and it will start. So, Mike, I noticed here, for example, in this, in our showroom here, all the handles are the same. Um, what if I wanted handles to match my kitchen cabinets? Possible? Yeah, yeah really, uh, it is up to you and, and basically the design in your kitchen. We'll make it easy for you. We'll provide you an accessory panel, if you wish, that matches basically uh, the stainless on any of our dishwashers and some of our handles. But you can certainly integrate it so that from a kitchen perspective, there is no dishwasher. Um, you would basically have to be telling your guests where to deposit their used uh, stemware. Um, 
or in the case of our knock to open dishwasher where you have no handle it completely disappears and I, and I think for this one Mike um, from a design perspective as a German brand uh, we we see a definite it's not even a trend it's really the new direction in Europe where people are having uh, designing kitchens without handles making that a much more open space as it integrates into people's family rooms um, and I think the knock to open is a great uh, solution that Mila has provided designers uh, and customers for that seamless room design. It really is a cool design language, this minimalistic contemporary kind of look in people's kitchens where they want integration. And the last feature in this particular model, the diamond knock to open, I just ask that you take a look at the cascade of brilliant LED light that falls in the inside of this dishwasher. Some people may call it a gimmick, but I'll tell you, after you live with LED lights in your dishwasher, there's no going back. It's the same thing with maybe freezers and fridges 40 years ago. Lights in your appliances actually help not only give you an emotional response to when you open that dishwasher, but sure enough, at the end of the night, when it comes to placing that last wine glass, not having to turn on your full lighting system in your kitchen, just opening your dishwasher, having a nice, light and lit path to put your um, last piece of stemware is really a nice touch. And then at the end of a cycle, that light on a fully cleaned interior really gives you that cherry on top. So Mike, very lastly, again, before we go to any last questions, there, there are still several questions that we may or may not be able to get to. We'll still try to get to them. But a lot of people do not know about Mila Professional, which is uh, a separate division within Mila uh, that produces uh, dishwashers, lab washers, uh, professional laundry machines. How does the professional dishwasher that potentially we produce for whether it's restaurants, dental hospitals, how does that carry over into the domestic home or does it even uh, carry over? Yeah, we see some of our biggest innovations come through our professional, Mila professional department. Um, it is a a key driver of innovation within the Mila family, our professional grade pump systems, our water control systems that basically are flood prevention measures. All these come out of commercial applications and demands in commercial use, our high temperatures for sanitization that make their way into the domestic model, really come from expertise and know-how that we draw on from our professional lineup. Available to consumers also in our lineup are two professional models. One that's actually uh, apt to go into public spaces and meet sanitization requirements from um, uh, local health authorities to meet sanitization codes with 85 degree final rinses and really fast wash times. So the long answer to your question is Mila Professional really propels our innovation into our domestic lineup. Uh, to a really high degree. And I, and I think it's great that we're able to take that technology innovation uh, and have the benefits to our domestic customers uh, in their homes as well, more than anything else. Um, I know there was one last question we were trying to get to is from uh, Melvin. Melvin, hopefully you're still with us. Um, you had a question about the dishwasher, which is the G6665 SCVI that, that you have. Um, you, you notice a, a louder sound uh, during each of the cycles. Um, Mike, what are some of the things that we could recommend for, for Melvin? Okay, so Melvin, uh, it sounds that you're getting some, some kind of uh, foreign sounds in your dishwasher. I would ask that you do the following. Number one, because you purchased mid-2009, it's very likely that your dishwasher is still under warranty, so if all else fails, you're backed up by a coast-to-coast, uh, -coast, nationwide, home, in-service, parts and labor kind of warranty, so there's that. Uh, before we get there, though, I would ask that you uh, do the following. Open your dishwasher. Down below, you would remove your spray arm, Melvin. You would remove your filter system, Melvin. And then down below, there's what we call a, a non-return valve. And again, user serviceable, no tools required. Uh, no sleight of hand, you would just basically, and there's a video on the internet that can show you how to remove this non-return valve. And it's basically a ball or sphere, metal ball, that would prevents wastewater from returning. Oftentimes you'll notice that there's maybe a pistachio shell that's stuck in here. Cherry shell. Cherry, cherry pit. pit. Yeah. And just by washing this under uh, your sink, 
um, under your tap, you'll find that you can clear a blockage and return your dishwasher. Uh, additionally, you may want to remove your spray arms and they're quite easy to remove. The bottom one is the easiest. The middle basket uh, spray arm can be unscrewed quite easily as well. And you just wash these and maybe take a toothpick and just wash through each of the jets on the spray arm to kind of remove any foreign objects or blockages that may be in here. So hopefully that helps. But if all else fails, like I said, Melvin, we're going to back you up with our service partners. So uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, you, right now, uh, again, hopefully you continue to remain safe in your home. Uh, we are accessible via uh, different channels. We have Meal Alive here right now that, again, will continue uh, with daily sessions, different topics. We'll cover dishwashers again next week uh, with some more in-depth. And if you have more questions, be sure to, to share those with us. Um, in addition to that, we have our personal telephone product consultation. If you go on Mila.ca right now, uh, although our Mila Experience Centers are currently not open and a lot of our uh, retail partners are not open, uh, be sure to take advantage of the uh, Mila personal telephone product consultation. We have experts there ready to take your call to answer questions. If you're looking to buy a dishwasher, they're there also to answer any questions you have before you buy. And they can actually also take the order over the phone if you'd like. Or you can visit Milo.ca where you can purchase 24-7. Uh, most of our products are on there, not everything. But again, you can use the telephone order, ordering uh, process if you want. Uh, right now, uh, Mike, we have a couple of promotions and uh, opportunities for our customers. If we talk just, first of all, about the current promotion that's going on, uh, we have in the marketplace right now for dishwashers. Kelly, we have a great call to action from consumers. It's basically one of our uh, biggest drivers in the marketplace. It's a peace of mind promotion. You heard me speaking about Melvin and our service team that backs us up. Right now, each of our dishwashers comes with a um, free five-year warranty, as well as a price-off promotion as well. So in addition to a free five-year warranty, you're also being incented with a thousand dollar price point or two hundred dollars off of your dishwasher purchase now those two things are great but when we add on free delivery that's really a good kicker as well so just keep that in mind free delivery um, to price off and then a five-year warranty in addition to that it's a 30-day money-back in-home guarantee so if you wish you can basically let's say at the end of 30 days you're not happy with your purchase we find highly unlikely but say you want to return your dishwasher, feel free to contact us. No questions asked. We'll come to your home, pick it up. And I, and I think what's important to know when Mike talks about the warranty and service delivery, um, with Mila, you're actually dealing always directly with Mila in that regard. So the warranty is actually a Mila warranty. We underwrite that warranty. So anytime um, you're actually dealing with directly with us, and I think that's really important to note in regards to when we talk about uh, warranty and the value that we put behind warranty because we'll stand uh, behind that as well and it's our service technicians our factory trained service technicians that would help you if you need help at that point in time um, but I think Mike beyond that if you're in the province of Ontario uh, still right now uh, what do we have for Ontarians right now sorry guys only for Ontario residents if you're getting your Mila dishwasher delivered in Ontario the federal government has basically provided us, an in, well actually you, an Energy Star rebate program so that you can basically have, in addition to the savings we've already mentioned, take advantage of this federal program uh, in the value of uh, between anywhere from $230 all the way up to almost $400 in savings depending on which dishwasher you choose. And again, that's for a limited time only and for Ontario residents only. So again, I think with all the promotions uh, that we have, we're trying to make things obviously as convenient for you at home. Um, again, to remain safe, but we also know that you need uh, certain things to continue your daily lives. Um, another offering that Mila has while you're at home is the new Mila e-gift card. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we still need to try to celebrate each other. So if there are gifts, it's a perfect way to give a, an easy gift uh, for your family or friends. Uh, very lastly, um, for those of you that have joined us, and again, thank you for taking the time to join us today online live at Mila Live. Uh, Mike, I think we have one more special offer. 
uh, for those viewers right now. So in addition to all our offers that we have on right now, if you use this promo code right up until about 4.30 p.m. Eastern, you're able to enter this code in the checkout process and uh, avail yourselves to 10% additional savings on Mila Care Collection. So any of the consumables you'll see here are included in that offer. Obviously our dish tabs, which are a great product by the way, um, our salt, which is uh, key if you have a dishwasher with water softening capabilities. This is a great way to recharge your uh, water softener. And of course, Rinse Aid, a key consumable that everyone needs in a Miele dishwasher regardless of the model. Um, a lot of people will use other product, but this is a really a great surfactant to help get your Miele dishes dry and spotless every single time. So, so right now online, there's already a promotion for 10% off our care collection products, but uh, again, for you, our viewers that are here until 4.30 Eastern time, uh, upon checkout, if you enter the promo code Mila Live Dish, all one word, um, you will actually get an additional 10% uh, on top of the existing promotion. Plus we have free shipping right now uh, to make it the most convenient for you. So uh, I know we've uh, far exceeded. Uh, there were a lot more questions that we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, on behalf of Mike, uh, myself, the team that's actually here trying to support all of you. Uh, we want to thank you. Be sure to uh, keep in touch with us at Mila Live. Register there um, as we will have some really new exciting sessions also happening throughout the remainder of this week and next week. So again, thank you and have a wonderful day.